I love butterflies, and I've always wanted to learn how to attract more butterflies and caterpillars to my yard. So today, Tia is going to tell us how to do that. Hey. Hey, thanks for having me. So what are these lovely plants that you brought? All right, so I have two different kinds of plants here, and one is the butterfly milkweed, meaning that it really attracts a lot of butterflies, and this other one is the pinta, and okay. these pink flowers attract lots of butterflies too. So do butterflies come to eat off of both of these, or do they... Like, explain how it attracts them. <laughs> yeah, so there's two functions that is going on here. And one is a larval host plant, which is the butterfly milkweed. And that's where the butterfly is going to go and lay the eggs on the plant. And then it's going to hatch into caterpillars. Oh, okay. So, so then... you can actually see some holes in the leaves here yeah. and where the caterpillar is, like, right under the leaf there. Oh, my gosh. We have baby little caterpillars. I know, look at them, they're cute. <laughs> now the pinta plant, this one doesn't, the caterpillars don't eat the leaves, but it has lots of flowers that contain nectar. And so the adult butterflies are gonna fly onto the flower and they're gonna suck that nectar up. So you wanna have both types of plants, the larval host plant and the nectar plant. Okay, so if you have the milkweed, and you start to see caterpillars. Right, that's and, a good thing. And you see the holes in the leaves because they're eating the leaves. What happens after they've eaten the leaves? Yeah, so they're gonna get all the leaves, eat them up, they're gonna become bigger and bigger and bigger. Like right now, these caterpillars are just baby, but they're gonna get to about one inch long and they might completely strip all the leaves off the plant. Wow. So once they've had their fill, they are going to turn into a chrysalis and then metamorphosize and then the butterfly hatches. So you won't see them do that on the plant, but maybe nearby on a fence or something. So it's good to keep in mind that if you have milkweed, you actually want to see these holes, right? Right, yeah, that's a good thing that you're seeing the hole. So don't be alarmed, you know, the caterpillars want to eat the plant leaves. Cause you often, you know, I look at leaves in my yard and I'm like, oh man, like it's got, right. something's eaten on it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's probably got a fungus or something. Right. Not so, even thinking that it could be a. Caterpillar. Right, a caterpillar. And then in this case, like you don't want to use pesticides on your butterfly plants because it might kill the caterpillars or the butterflies. That's a good point as well. So what do you do then if you want the butterflies to come and once they've hit their metamorphosis stage, are they hanging off of here? Did they find somewhere else to go? Yeah, so they're usually attached to a fence or something nearby. And then when you have the adult butterflies, like the most important thing is just to have a variety of plants, the larval host plants and the adult nectar plants. So they just have plenty of food. So are there different ones than just these two that butterflies love? Oh yeah, there are okay. many, many plants, you know, like zinnias and cosmos and sunflowers. But um, the butterfly milkweed in particular is the host for the monarch butterfly. Ooh, so mm -hmm. is there a particular time of year that is butterfly season? Um, you can really do butterfly gardening all year round. Okay. So that's good to know because no matter when, do you want to keep them potted or is this more of a, you know, it'll outgrow the pot and you want to plant it in the ground? Um, you can do it in a container gardening or in the ground, that's fine. And like you said that these ones attract monarch butterflies, are there different plants for different butterflies as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the different butterflies have their particular host plant. So you can do some research and learn about all the species in your area and what plants they like to lay their eggs on. So is that something IFAS can tell us about? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> visit us. All right, well, this was so great and now I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna go shopping and buy some plants.